Hey guys, it is Mia Moore, and today I want to share with you guys 12 tips. This video is actually going to have 13 tips and not 12. You get a bonus. A bonus tip. You see, I look out for you guys. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start with my uh, first six tips. Now, this is more so when starting up your business and stuff like so, that. Tip number one. If you are in the state of Texas, please get listed, registered, or licensed. Do not be out here just operating daycare illegally. Like, it's just a recipe for disaster and it could potentially cause so many problems like if a kid gets hurt if a mom tries to sue like you're not even backed up by the state so just please 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 do not be one of those people please get listed registered or licensed tip number two take pride in your setup create a space that parents will want to put their kids in you don't want to have a daycare that's mediocre like i can't tell you how many parents that have toured my daycare that literally said like you know what this is the best setup and i love your energy and i just love how much thought and how much time you put into the setup i want to enroll my kid today and it made me reflect like dang like these parents really care about you know my setup and like long i feel like as long as they see that you've really put some energy into it and some time and some effort like it makes them more comfortable um with the thought of leaving their kid with you or whatever. You have to remember, you have competitors. Stand out, don't copy them, but stand out. Take pride in your setup, make it you. Let your emotion, let your love, let your, your passion speak through your daycare. Tip number three is charge what you're worth, right? You can't just call a daycare and be like, hey, how much are you offering? Oh, you know, I offer $80 a week, or whatever. Well, first and foremost, <laughs> We're not getting full-time care for $80 a week. But I'm just throwing a number out there. Like, these providers may be um, charging $80 a week. Doesn't mean that you should charge $80 a week. Hey, your care might be worth $280. Like, it just depends on what you're offering. You know what I'm saying? So, just keep in mind. Just keep that in mind. So, tip number four is look into daycare insurance. Um, I think this is very beneficial and if i'm not mistaken it's a requirement whenever i opened uh, daycare insurance was not a requirement but i went ahead and got it anyway because i just wanted to be protected at all costs just in case anything ever happens to a child on my premises i wanted to have backup so i went ahead and i got a daycare uh, insurance policy and i'll share some information um of i think two websites that two websites that I know of so you can do a little research if you are in the child care business. Tip number five, do, do not do this solely for money. Sometimes people think this is one of the easiest jobs ever in life. I will tell you this right now, daycare is not for the week. <laughs> it is not. This job, if you're not careful, will chew you and spit you out because it requires so much time, so much attention, and just honestly so much patience and love and just <sighs> compassion and all of those things. It requires a lot of it. And so if you're in it for the money, um, one of those areas that you're gonna lack in one of those areas. Don't let money be your only reason why you're in childcare. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong, I love making money. I make good money doing this, but it's not my, my only reason i feel like if your heart is not in it you're not going to succeed it's just you're dealing with kids yo like you gotta love them all of them and then tip number six please 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 um put out a lot a lot of realistic rules and um, standards for your child care business i can't stress this enough do not be a pushover do not be a pushover. I had to literally show someone like, hey, I don't know who you think you are, but I am the boss here. Where some providers are uh, not as stern and because they don't like confrontation, they allow things to happen and then they end up getting screwed in the end. Do not be a pushover. Learn that there is a way to be firm without being disrespectful, without being rude, without being any of those things like, hey, this is my business, this is the requirement, this is the standard, and this is what I'm going by. You know what I'm saying? For example, I close at 5.30 and they think like, hey, I'm gonna pick up my kid every day between the hours of 5.45 and 6 p.m. Don't keep allowing it because, oh, I talked to them, they keep doing it, they keep doing it, like let them know there's consequences. You know what I'm saying? Like when it comes to payment, hey, payment is due on Friday and Monday come like, hey, I don't have my payment, can I pay you on Wednesday? Uh, sure, bring your kid on Wednesday. And it's not anything mean or disrespectful or 
rude it's just you have a standard this is your job this is how you pay your bills please 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 don't be a pushover with your time and with your money because both of those are very important so number seven establish yourself legally whether it's an LLC, DBA, or whatever else is out there, I personally decided to go with the LLC, and that's because in the future, I plan to go bigger, and I just already wanna be established with certain things, you know what I'm saying? After you get your LLC, DBA, whatever the case may be, go ahead and go to our irs.gov and get yourself a EIN number. It is free, do not, do not, do not. I repeat myself, do not pay anybody to do this. This is free and it takes literally five minutes. If that, if that, it takes five minutes to get an EIN number and this is basically, this is so they can identify your business. I have used this EIN number multiple times. Okay. Tip number two is get a business account and separate your personal funds from your daycare funds, your business funds. Now, if you're anything like me, then you're, you are going to have multiple streams of income. That's just how I operate. It makes your life so much easier. I kid you not. I, I really, it made my life so much easier. It's just, it's so much more organized to just take money from my daycare account and transfer it to my personal account and count it as like, hey, I'm like, oh, I'm paying myself now versus just having everything going into my personal account and me just spending money. Mind you, it wasn't as easy to just like, oh, this is all from daycare, this is all from this, this is all from that. Having to go back and like find certain things, it was just too much. I just didn't have time. So definitely, definitely, definitely um, separate your business and your personal funds. I will say this, an LLC, um, definitely helps me get a bank account because getting a bank account is a little bit different and they require a few documents whatever the case may be which this is something i wish i would have known about when i first started apply for a duns number data universal numbering system so what a duns number is it's basically like a credit score but for businesses there are a lot of benefits to having business credit one did you know that some people actually buy cars with business credit? Well, I really wish I would have started out with this. I was a little bit, you know, sad, but I know now and that's all that matters. Get a business credit card. I really wish my, um, the person that I opened up my account with, I really wish that they would have told me like, hey, apply for a credit card, a business credit card while you're opening your account. Like, like what you mean? I could have been building for so long after doing my research on it. Sometimes they offer you a business credit card when you open up your business bank account. Hire an accountant. If you're anything like me, don't try to do this on your own. This is not an area of your expertise. <laughs> Find one who is very knowledgeable in, in daycare taxes. Have an accountant that knows a little bit about, about home daycares because mind you, you use your home as a business. So there are a few different things that apply that you can you know, write off because you're using your lights, you're using space, you're using water, your utilities and stuff for an actual business. You know what I'm Number saying? six, number six, put a budget in place, place. If you're anything like me, you like to spoil your kids. When I see things in the store that my kids like, I like to pick it up and I like to do it often, right? A budget will keep you on track. Like I said, for me, I have other goals for the future. So it's very important for me to stay on track and to still save and do whatever I have to do to make sure I reach that goal when the time comes. Tip number seven, which is the last tip, always do your research, always. Even the things that I say in this video today, make sure you go and do your research because at the end of the day, what works for me may not work for you or I might understand something and interpret it in a total different way than what it really is, whatever. So always do your research, that way you can never, be misled you will always know for yourself so always do your research always know for yourself so that you can make the best decision educated this decision not based on what i say or what someone else said like you can make a decision for yourself i really hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel i am back with the daycare updates daycare videos whatever that you need i am here for it and um, yeah, I had to figure it out and I don't want you guys to have to figure it out. Um, I wanna share what little information I do know and yeah, 
that's it for this video and I will see you guys in my next one.